Welcome to Critical Political History, where we talk about critical political history. As we all know, World War II was uh, kind of crazy. There was a lot of bad and really goofy shit going on at that time. While some countries did more naughty things than others, I still wanted to make a definitive list ranking how mischievous each country really was during World War II. That's probably a good enough intro, but before we start, I should specify something. The way I'm doing this tier list is the higher a country is ranked, the more angelic they are, but the lower a country is ranked means the more they were up to no good. So basically, the naughtiest country would rank F and the least problematic would rank S. Also, I didn't make this tier list, so don't complain to me about missing countries or anything like that. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get to the rankings. This tier list combined Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania into one spot, which I guess makes sense. These countries all took turns being tossed back and forth between the Nazis and the Soviets during the war, so you kind of just have to feel bad for them. For that, I'll give them C tier. I know I'm the one who's supposed to know the history stuff, but I don't know what country this flag is for, and I can't find it anywhere, so I'm not ranking it. Next is Canada, the country everyone forgets was in the war. Uh, they entered the war basically from the get-go, so they get props for that, and also it's kind of hard to see Canada doing anything bad because it would just come off as goofy, so uh, Canada gets an A. So this may be a controversial statement, but I don't think the Nazis were uh, that cool during the war, and it's all because of that one guy with the Charlie Chaplin mustache. Everything in the war kind of happens because of these guys, and I don't even have to touch on all the dead Jews and stuff you guys already know about. Uh, this one is obviously an F. Chile was one of the Latin American countries that didn't side with the Allies after Pearl Harbor, which is pretty suspicious on its own. Even worse, they only decided to break their neutrality because they had a hard-on for the commies. Easy D tier. Greece held the Axis powers off for a remarkably long time compared to some other uh, European countries, <coughs> France. Um, even though they were eventually defeated, they held the Axis powers off for enough time that the Allies could prepare. Uh, Greece gets a B from me. The UK really stuck it out when they were getting bombed to oblivion by the Nazis, which was instrumental in keeping the Allied fight alive, but the UK did have their fair share of bombing runs as well, so that evens out to about a C. Bulgaria was in it for the land, but that meant allying up with Hitler and enabling him to continue his genociding ways. They were also being very sneaky about sending Jews away, so that's no good either. Uh, Bulgaria gets an E. Denmark somehow gave up the second German troops stepped foot into the country and still managed to talk their way into keeping their country, and most importantly, their Jews. So major respect to Denmark, they get to be the first S tier just for that. Finland sided with Germany, but only because they wanted to take back territory they lost to the USSR in the Winter War of 1939-1940. to uh, They didn't give up any Jews and eventually helped the Allies defeat Germany, so they can be mostly forgiven, but they still get a C. Norway was occupied by both Nazis and USSR, but they both retreated after a while. Norway is socialist, though, so they get knocked down a couple pegs, so let's say D. Uh, China got it maybe the worst in World War II if you account for everything the Japanese did to them. They tried to help the Allies out, so China gets a B, and this was China pre-communism, so uh, that helps the rating. Do I see a wet flag signaling surrender? Yes, I do, and big surprise, it's France. France basically handed their country over to Germany and let them walk all over it. Fucking France. Uh, they got a D. In every world war, Italy realizes it's on the losing side and switches teams, which is kind of a dick move, so uh, Italy gets an E. Poor Poland. I don't think I need to elaborate, assuming you know even just the basics about World War II. Uh, Poland gets a pity B. The Netherlands get an automatic S because they somehow always manage to stay neutral even though they are in the middle of the bullshit. Japan is in the F category for the rape of Nanjing alone, but yeah, Japan was kind of going insane during World War II. Uh, that's probably why we bombed them. Australia both fought the Nazis and Japanese after a tiring war with the emus at home, so good job Australia, you get a B. Ethiopia beat Italy, which kind of says more about Italy than it does Ethiopia, but nice work Ethiopia, you also get a B. 
From what I can tell, this is the flag for the Chinese Soviet Republic, which, if I'm right, was a failed communist party that was around in China before the war, so I don't know why it's on here. Uh, someone can help me out. Uh, Romania sided with the Nazis in their attempt to invade the USSR, and the Soviets are the lesser of two evils in this circumstance, so not cool, Romania. You get a D. The USSR spent so much of its time killing its own soldiers and generals that they forgot about the war entirely. Just kidding. Even though the Soviet Union was instrumental in the defeat of the Nazis, I have two words that will remind you why they belong in D tier. Joseph Stalin. Not to get all patriotic or anything, but we would all be speaking German and there would be no more Jews if we didn't join that war. While we did our fair share of bombing and the whole Japanese internment thing, I think the overall victory at least puts us near the top. While some people may say, oh, what about the atomic bombs? I say that because of Japan's fight till the death attitude about the war, if we hadn't dropped the bombs, there would have been millions of unnecessary casualties. The United States gets an A for America. Well, here it is, the definitive list of who's naughty and who's nice in the Second World War. Well, it's war, everyone is a little naughty, but you get the point. This video is satire and all jokes, so it's not supposed to be entirely historically accurate to a T, so don't get on my ass about it, it's comedy. With that being said, thanks for watching.